Let's talk to Peter Power, a former senior officer from Scotland Yard, now managing director of Visor Consultants, that uh, company which really deals in management of crises. Peter, I mean, what can we, what can we do as a city? What can we do as a people? What are, how are we supposed to behave in future? You can't stop these kind of things, can you? Well, you can reduce the amount of opportunity. Really, we should be thinking about taking some reasonable steps against unreasonable people. I have to say that uh, what Mike Granite said there about being a wake-up call, I'm sorry I don't agree with that. We've had wake-up calls. If this is another wake-up call, something's wrong. The alarm's been ringing for many years. People have been saying, get ready for this, it's going to happen, from the Prime Minister downwards. The other thing we should be thinking about is really looking at what you were just talking about. What should we be doing? Certainly when I was at Scotland Yard, and it wasn't all that long ago, we were, we were having events like this probably every week at the height of the IRA campaign. Big difference then, of course, mostly, not always, we had enough warning, mm. although that was a little bit circumspect in some cases. But now we're dealing with people who simply want to have mass, mass casualties. They want no dialogue, no warning. They don't want an agenda and so on. It's, things are a little bit different. Well, indeed, and uh, that's why it's so difficult. So, so what do we do? You can't, I mean, some people just say, look, the best thing to do is just carry on as you were because you can't let bombers um, subjugate you. You can't allow your life to be destroyed by them. I mean, how, how, do you, how do you effectively provide security on an underground system? Well, you're quite right. Security at very best is proportionate. It'll never, ever be absolute. Uh, the thing that concerns me is that what are we doing for the thousands of men and women actually who are in London working? And I say that because at half past nine this morning we were actually running an exercise for a, over a, a company of a thousand people in London based on simultaneous bombs going off precisely at the railway stations that happened this morning. So I still have the hairs on the back of my neck standing upright. Did you get this quite straight? You were running uh, a, an exercise to see where, how you would cope with this and it happened while you were running the exercise? Precisely. And it was uh, about half past nine this morning. We planned this for a company for obvious reasons, I don't want to reveal their name, but they're listening and they'll know it. And we had a room full of crisis managers for the first time they met. And so within five minutes, we made a pretty rapid decision. This is the real one. Uh, and so we went through the correct, the correct drills of activating crisis management procedures to jump from slow time to quick time thinking yeah. and so on. Well, that's 